Hi, my name is Melinda and I'm an artist based in Salt Lake City, Utah. I've been a member of the Enjoying Art community for four years and it's completely changed my life. I love taking the classes that Yong offers and getting feedback from the other members in the community. It's really ignited my passion and my desire to grow as an artist and to pursue being a professional artist. I love being able to share what I'm working on and have others give me feedback right away and being able to also take part in critiquing other people's work, which surprisingly helps you become a better artist and trains your eye. I know that without the Enjoying Art community and without Yang's direction, that it would have taken a lot longer to see the progress I've seen in four years. I can't endorse the Enjoying Art community more and encourage anyone who is even thinking about becoming an artist, improving their art skills, to sign up and see what the community is about. And I think you'll know why we all love it. This is more brown color and this is dark brown color. I'm gonna have a white charcoal. If I'm gonna put the chin, which is the middle point, right? Right over here. And the arm, it will be a little bit lower than the, the chin. I'm gonna draw it up this way. So I'm gonna put the hand right about like this and then from here, it's going down. If you draw soft, you can erase everything. As long as it's not pushing it too hard. If you extend this line all the way up, the face needs to be lower in order to meet that connection. It's important finding how the things connected. You can compare this with the top of the head. Here, it's meeting the same as that. So now I'm gonna draw the line over. It looks like a very much like a circle all the way down right here. And coming down like this. Now I'm gonna start dividing the shape. And now it will be very cool like that. And now we're gonna take a look at where's the eye location. A little bit up like this. So you better always measure it like this. And this as they're going up a little bit. We don't know how wide the eye would be, but the top over here, the bottom over here. The nose is right in the middle. This is why we work so hard, try to find out where the eyebrows go through it slowly. Now we see the nose right in this location. You have to start from the big and then small and small and small. Lower border of the lower lip actually is halfway. And then from here to the top of the upper lip, it actually serves as the another half. Okay, and then the T coming over here. Look at the width of the nose. And of course, there's a little bit turn in here and come a little bit this way and maybe a little bit lower. And now from here, the lower lip, go around the front of the chin like that. And I can have a little bit shape like that. Can have a little bit like that. And then take a look at from here. Now we're gonna jump out from here. Now we'll take a look at the shape over here, almost like a halfway from here to there. Can you see that? Just a little bit less, just a little bit less. Coming back over here, a little bit less like that. And then coming in here, here you go. Now I want to divide it. Let's see the shadow. And coming in here. And they have a little shape pointing to the corner of the mouth. Like that. Here you go. Like that coming up. And now, since we have this as a helper, and now it makes things much easier. Now we can see how our eye, the eye is going. Need to be moving in a little bit. If you have the eye a little bit apart, it will look younger. So if you think it should be older, and need to moving in, so maybe even just a hair moving in a little bit more. Soften that a little bit. And the face over here, moving in over here. And now the hair is very easy. Just put that down over here. And draw it very lightly, okay, very light. 
Okay. We just set a good foundation. The fold start from the chin over here, coming down over here, like that, and then coming here. This is the shape. Don't look at inside of those folds yet. I want you to just see the whole shape from here. I can see this and from here coming out and down over here like that here and then coming into here. You can see that this, the whole area is just the shadow. And then put that a little bit harder over here. Okay, the lamb actually from here and if I draw the line coming like this, that will be the bottom of the lamb. Can you see that? From here, drawing the line coming this angle, that will be the top of the lamb, right here. And you can find the center line. It's very crucial. The center line, it actually guides you to get it right easier. We got all the critical things already in place. And what's the next thing we're going to do? We're going to block in the light coming here. And I can open up a little bit more. And then seeing that, the shape over here. And there's a little big shape like that. Okay, coming over here. Look at the angle of this coming down. And like this, and like that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have some darker. I'm going to have this one a little bit darker to uh, blend in the darker color. So first thing on the hair, I'm going to draw that. Draw that whole shape like this. It's the hair very, very dark. I'm just going to make the outside over here. I'm going to shade it down the whole thing. Draw relaxing, okay, slowly. And this has become darker too. You see that this is the cast shadow area. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have the line coming up over here. You see that this coming in? And look at the tip over here compared to this. So you can this almost there. Okay, right here. All right, that's good. Now I have a nice fold. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little nice fold. And here you go, a little nice fold. And then this is also a fold. But how deep the fold would be is based on your understanding of the body anatomy. And you cannot have it like I have this cut through because that is a body right inside over here. So this is the whip cage. And I would really, really suggest you to uh, spend some time to copy uh, some of the anatomy uh, image, uh, which is I we're going to have it for you. And so when you copy those, it actually make you memorize those uh, muscles, the bone structure, and so on. Okay. All right. Now, there's too much texture on the outside. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a little paper towel, okay, a little bit of tissues. Okay. I'm going to have it just blend over it. Just don't worry. Like the ear now is softer. And that's just fine. We're going to uh, redefine it a little bit later. Okay, now I'm gonna just make it softer, the whole outside. And here you go. You can do that the opposite direction as the line. Okay, like that. It's, this is good. I'm gonna do that in this angle. Much, much softer. Okay, now coming over here, make that a little bit softer. A little bit softer. Okay. Now 
This is good. Like that. All right, this is pretty good. Now I'm gonna have this a little bit too soft. And I'm gonna come in over here, just use the corner. Tap on it to make it softer. And make this a little bit softer. All you see, they are supposed to be um, more grouped together to support the light area, okay? Okay, how does that look? That's is good, right? So, I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter. I'm gonna erase it. Okay, this is good. Coming up over here a little bit lighter. So this is actually pretty light. Very nice. Okay, like that. Now I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna erase that. And don't put the white charcoal on until you clean up this space because you need to the white need to be on top of the paper not on top of the charcoal okay hopefully that makes sense to you okay here you go and i'm gonna have that coming down over here here you go like that okay that's good and here a little bit lighter but this is actually a little bit darker than that. So you can actually have applied a little bit soft, like doing that over here. And I think about their face color. I need to be also darker too. Okay, so I'm gonna have this actually blend that in. And I'm gonna take this a little red color. I'm gonna blend that in. The whole face is actually a little bit darker tone. So this step, we are adjusting the big area and this is also darker on the neck a lot darker okay a little bit darker like that so now the face is a little bit dimmer uh, than this area right so i'm going to have this actually a little bit darker okay the side of the nose a little bit shadow and also i'm going to blend that over Okay, this is good. This side over here. That's good. That's good. And the lower part of the face, I'm going to blend it over. I'm going to make sure that it's the face, whole face, is actually a little bit darker. Okay, that's good. So you don't want to leave everywhere to be very light and very dark all everywhere some area the darkest and it is not that dark and the lightest is not that light so this is good the face get a little bit better and even though we're going to lift up just some light area along right on the side over here just lift it up and this is very very good and the side over here lift it up but mostly is Okay, let's take up the middle of the the nose ridge. Coming in a little bit more like that. And a little bit lighter. And the nose right over here. Right in the, the highlight on the side of the nose right over there. That's good. And the middle of the that's a little bit lighter. And now I'm going to continue the T a little bit later, like that. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to have this retouch uh, the mount. And it's going to be a little bit darker, a little bit more detailed, a little bit later. Okay, now the upper lip facing over here, like that. That's good. And now I'm going to take a look at there's some little little fold around the outside it will help to support the shape of the face. Okay, coming in over here and over here. OK, 
okay this is good so now the face are here on the on the side I'm gonna make it a little bit darker so I'm gonna come in here to get this darker the C have to see the larger area value before you see the smaller details okay I'm gonna make the ear disappear if one more time and then come back to take it back a little bit okay a little bit here okay like this that's good okay a little bit the side over here a little bit darker like that you have to bring the form to the drawing make the form appear to be not the detail you maybe think about oh I got the nose I got the eye okay that's just too early we need to somehow you need to bring that the big shape together and divide this in half This is good. I'm gonna have this to catch the shadow. Okay, soften it. All right, now this is good. I can come in over here. Oh, let's give a little bit more. A little bit clear, a little bit sharper on the iris, so that it doesn't need to be everything look like out of shape okay that's good okay like that look at the angle that's nice okay that's good this okay nice okay that's good And that's good. And the nostril, put it right in here. Okay, a little bit over here. Okay, this side have a little triangle. Okay, that's just good. And right over here, a little bit softer. And you don't want. You don't want to make everything so dark. It's a few point. Need to be darker. And looking at that, you need to come in over here a little bit more to the left. Okay, that's good. And the lower lip. Moving that like this. That's good. And when you do the painting, you do the same thing. Okay, something is a very close value. Make it close value. Now I can see there's a little light shape over here. Don't make it too, too light. Okay, right here. And a little bit. Okay, control how dark that would be. Okay, in the middle over here, this is very light. Now I'm going to move that a little bit light shape over here. Okay, a little bit like that. And a little bit over here. A little bit over here, a little bit over here, and also the front over here have a little bit light. Oh wow! Look at that. There you. Hopefully you're not slipping. Okay, here you go. Okay, I'm gonna have that little line coming over here. Whoa! It's very interesting. You see the hierarchy of value contrast a little bit soft like that and now I'm gonna put a little bit lighter right over here but not too much just a little bit a few places so you have to put make the correct hierarchy arrangement from light to dark from which is the lightest and which is the light which is the darkest and this is good and inside the eye over here I can see that little dot Okay, a little dot over here. Okay, that's good. And the highlight, 
little highlight right over here okay oh that's too high a little bit lower i'm gonna put this right here i'm gonna erase that that's just a little bit too high okay here you go that's good like that and on the lip they have a little bit put a few dot that's on the lower lip right. okay and over here again you don't want to erase too much okay so what I'm gonna do and this is the color is good but this is a little bit too too much I'm gonna soften that a little bit now I come back over here, this is quite a bit, it need to be darker, right here. Okay, a little bit darker here. Okay, coming in on this side. Okay, here you go. A little bit softer. Okay, continue. Continue making the things interesting. But you're not making everything interesting. Okay, you have to be playing a different role in there um, like in a plate okay here you go okay here you go like that and that's coming in here you see that a little bit darker and then gradually get a little bit softer shape and a little bit softer coming down over here like that now i'm gonna make the outside even a little bit darker right here and I was gonna have some line and I have some line that's good have some line like that okay some a little bit darker okay like that okay that's here have a little bit uh, hole between the fingers you can see through that okay right here that's good okay coming up over here that's good now come back to here the hair now we fix this You can see that that's interesting here coming up coming up coming down over here and the bottom over here a little bit darker like this here you go here you go like that and coming back here a little bit now first take a look at the nose this and take a look at the side over here that's the shadow shape that's good like that right this is good okay there's a little bit over here that's very good and and the bottom of the nose also a little bit darker. Okay, this is good. Now the nose, very well, very well developed. Okay. Now I'm going to take a look at the mouth and then I'm going to come back to take a look at the eye. Okay. Now take a look at the mouth over here. And coming here. Okay, that's good. The upper lip looks very nice. Okay, that's good. And coming onto this side. A little bit softer. Here they come. A little bit lower. The upper lip. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Okay, take a look at on this side. And take a look at here. I can see that a little bit darker and to a little bit lighter and then the shadow over here on this side is the shadow of the lip like that and the top over here and going around like this 
this. You only do the details after all the things are already connected. Now I'm going to come here to make a little bit darker than that. So right here. That need to be a little bit more clear. So now here you go. That's good. And I can see that little bit too over here. A little gap. Okay, like that. That's good. And I'm going to use the white charcoal. Have a little bit highlight over here on the lower lip. Just a few, put a few dots. And the front over here, the T, I'm going to just put a little bit light over here too. That's good. Like that. Very little. Not too much. Right? This is pretty good. I'm going to come in over here to make that this a little bit lighter. Okay, too much dark color. Okay, here you go. Yeah, that's good. Now maybe I'm going to replace that with this warm color right here. Okay, coming a little bit slowly, coming to the bottom of the chin. Okay, that's good. Now it looks nice. And also here, use is the warm color as well. And now I'm going to erase a little bit. That's think that's a little bit too dark. Is that the very relaxing as you go into smaller and smaller and smaller, right? Okay, a little bit over here. Just touch a little bit. Okay, like this. Okay, and the nostril right over there. Okay, and I'm going to erase that. I think that's too much light. I'm going to tap on it. Erase a little bit of this light. That's just good. You can see that our some area it just leave it uh, just the paper color, right? And now I'm gonna come here to take a look at. Now the mouth looks good, right? Now I'm gonna come in here take a look at the side over here, and coming down over here. Okay, that's good. Now take a look at the face over here. I'm gonna have a little bit darker coming and the side of the eye. Now coming up to the eye. Okay, here a little bit darker. And the side over here, a little bit darker here, here too. A little bit warmer, darker. Coming from the side over here. You see that? This is good. Now I'm gonna come in over here and coming to the side. Okay, this is good. Right there. All right, this is good. I'm gonna blend it in with this side. Over, this is good. Like that. That's pretty good. Now I'm gonna make it a little bit more clear. Over here, the edge. A little bit more clear. That's good, right there. Now I'm going to take a look at the eye, and right here, need a little bit more clear. Okay, that's pretty good. The top is already good, and she doesn't have like those fake eyelashes, so everything natural. Okay, that's good. That's good too. I'm going to find it for you. Okay. Yep, I would do that. I'm going to put it here. Uh-huh. I'm going to have that a little bit here, like that. And now coming on the side over here, the lower eyelid. Okay, a little bit coming like this. Okay, look at that. That's good. Now take a look on, the, on this side. A little bit subtle here. Is that? Let's just get a little bit more and more and more into it, right? That's good. Like that. And I'm going to have a little bit lighter. Lift up a little corner over here. Okay. 
if you think about oh I'm gonna add the white charcoal okay don't do it because the whole thing on the face over here is not worth the white the light of the the value of the uh, the white charcoal you only can use the eraser that is good enough okay right here now the eye looks good and we're gonna take a look at this side over here, this actually, and just coming in over here, just a little very, very tiny, tiny, a little bit. Okay, now I'll take a look at this side over here. I need to have this line a little bit more clear. Okay, right here, a little bit more clear. This side of the nose looks nice. Okay, right here, I'm gonna have this coming gradually coming up. As beautiful nose okay that's good over here could be a little bit darker and the top of the eye a little bit darker like that okay and I think the the mouth can be open up a little bit tiny tiny up a little bit open a little bit up okay that's good that and this come up a little bit and this is good I'm gonna go into this side I'm gonna make it even a little bit darker on the shadow over here and I'm gonna have a little bit darker here you go like this let's just get a little by little and but the uh, ear over here is not clear, so don't make it too clear. Okay. That's good. And I'm gonna have this. That's good. Very nice. This side, very soft. Keep it soft. Okay, now I'm going to come in here to making sure the outside or shape is support. Support the suggestions of. Okay, very soft nice a little bit over here and nice okay now take a look at in here now we're going to inside a little bit more and more the details here you go now we're looking into this whole shape now I have inside have a little bit more uh, distance okay this is good like that and over here now take a look at in here okay now a little bit fold in here a little bit fold in here and a little bit fold in here maybe support the bottom over here make this a little bit darker so the outside darker make the inside appear to be a little bit lighter it's always adjusting, adjusting. Okay, that's good. Okay. All right. So, any questions?